Right, today's video is a different one because I initially recorded this thinking, oh, I'll get some wins in. It's a good deck. It's good fun. I played a bit before testing, realized it's fine to play this deck and lose every single game, right? I'm not even saying like I lost every single game. Okay, I'm just saying straight out of the bat, I have played a total of, I would guess now, recording only about nine games of this deck and I lost every single one. Now, I'm not going to show all of them, obviously, but I will show the games where I got closest to winning, maybe, or maybe the one at the end will show you kind of how demoralizing it became. Um, but it wasn't, it wasn't fun. It wasn't fun. The deck was cool. The idea was cool. But I think it really showcases, first off, a couple of things. My ability to misplay. Let's get that out of the way. Fine. We know I misplay a lot. We know that my ADHD gets in the way and I miss small details a lot. Um, and I misclick things and stuff like that at times. Uh, that's a part of who I am. That's not going to change. I don't choose that. There, then there's luck, right? There's the luck side of things of RNG, drawing into the cards you need and prizing the cards and stuff like that. You know, how often can you do that? Obviously, the better decks are better at dealing with that. Uh, they're built to be able to be far more consistent and reduce the power of luck. When you're making rogue decks, there's a lot more luck involved. So there's that na natural outcome there. And then there is just what I think is a big factor here that I think this video shows there is just power creep. There is just power levels, right? So it's 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 interesting because it shows that the absolute gap between the best cards and not even the worst cards, Rogue. Like, if you play a deck that just isn't tier one, it feels like an absolute grind to try and get a win because everyone is just playing full send. They're just really, really hammering it down at the ranked ladder, especially in Arceus League, because, well, they're trying to get to Arceus League. They're trying to rank up the ladder. It's taken far more seriously because it's now actually achievable to get to Arceus League, which many people want. So if you put all those three things together, you get this video. <laughs> so I'm going to show you the games and try and watch it with that perspective of how each of those elements are coming into play play and maybe it's just a bit insightful i guess it could show something in some way uh, at least it'll show you my experience in recording obviously i'm not trying to shift the blame on anything or try and blame anyone i'm just saying hey this happened these are these are the reasons why watch it and see and see if you can find for yourself where it's actually happening so it was a zartu deck trying to go for the bombardier where i you know just bring up the bombardier go for hit and run and the max belt was the idea of the video with the max belt and you would actually see it at the, you know, I'm sorry, it's a bit clickbait at the start, isn't it? <laughs> you know, wow, this deck's amazing. Look at Max Belt, makes it so much better. Hi guys, I lost every game. But that was the idea of just trying to, you know, buff up that damage output so I can actually 2 it KO Pokemon, which the deck couldn't do before. And I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. But the sheer, the sheer uh, optimization of these decks that are now running around in the top tier are so good. They could just deal with almost anything that comes their way. It's actually impressive. And that really shows in this video. And yes, we are playing a couple Charizards, which is just, just tragic, isn't it? I'm going to actually go out of my way now, just announcing before the videos go, we go into the games. I'm going to go out of my way to try and avoid some Zard matchups. So if I come up against Zard, just scoop, because I don't want my deck, my whole video to be, hi guys, I'm going to play this deck against Zard and lose because it's the best deck in the format. Because that's what this channel's turning into, right? And... I might even just stop playing in casual because I want to play different decks. It's literally, I like playing in ranks because you get higher tier gameplay. You get actual decks being put to the test, right? But if it's just constantly the best deck where I actually can't do anything about it, and it's actually at that point on my opponent to misplay for me to take advantage and try and get a win, it just, no, that's not, it's not actually time efficient, right? I don't have all the time in the world to record, so I'm not going to spend five hours a day trying to find one win. No, I'd rather play lower tier decks and just have fun. And that's the point of my channel, as I always say. So that's something that I'll maybe try and do. So I might hop into casual. I might just avoid some Zards. Because it seems like the, the, what, what's happening is the ladder has become, all right, play your main deck on the ladder and experiment with other decks on casual. Whereas before it was like, oh, just play whatever on ranks because it doesn't matter. So maybe I'll actually find more diversity and more fun matchups in casual compared to ranked. I don't know. It's fourth time playing with a sure a lot of you don't really care, but just see this see this video and you can, you'll probably see why I care so much. And why it's important to me. But anyway, enough of the faffing. Get, let's get into the games. I'll show the list as well at the end. Don't worry. Ah, we're starting Snorlax and they're going to think they're playing against Stall. That's going to be hilarious. Do I like try and let them think they're playing Stall for a little bit so they don't really play properly? They don't bench anything? And then I start setting up? That'd be kind of funny. I'd love to be able to get an energy and go for a TM evolution with the Snorlax because um, that'd be just really out of the blue. It's like they think they're playing Snorlax. Next, you know, two Nartus go down and there's two Zartus in play and they start swinging. Honestly, I didn't play the Snorlax for that reason. I actually played the Snorlax for. Um, um, just removing the option for my opponent to retreat if I want that Pokemon to stay in the active and I can then get another hit on them, basically. It's a little idea, at least. But there's a Mulligan here and they're going to be freaking out because it's Charizard and they see a Snorlax. They're going to think, oh, it's still... I'm sorry. 
But no, you're going to be in for a little shock sooner or later. And they throw an energy down. That's it, I do need to actually bench things. So I can't, I can't go about that little cheeky plan, which does sound hilarious. Oh, and Arvid's top deck is perfect. So I can get myself a Poff in here. I'm tempted to get Nespo in six. I've already got Zanatu, but no, no, no. We go Poff in, we go for Evolution. And then from here, we'll potty, Buddy Poff in for, I think, yes. Okay, yeah, let's get a Mimikyu down. Throw an R2 down here, get the energy down, and then just go for the evolution. Now, with the Snorlax, the Snorlax is not an easy card to retreat. That's why we do still have Jet Energy in there. I have two Jet Energy, so we can reuse the Jets as well. Obviously, it goes into your hands, so if you, if you think of the scenario of Snorlax being in play and you wanting to use that, uh, because it can be useful at times when they have a basic Pokemon that can when it KO the, the Mimikyu and get through that and can't KO the Snorlax. That said, it's quite a niche. But either way, that said, it's nice to have the Jets to just constantly bring that Bombardier into the active, um, so that way you can keep moving around this Snorlax instead of just kind of sitting there waiting. This matchup, though, is much more about the Mimikyu, I think. And this is where the choice spell, so the max spell actually matters, because, well, I can actually 2 it KO Zard, whereas before, I couldn't. There's a Heat Tackle, and I love to get myself up. <laughs> <laughs> I was set up to get myself a Bombardier and we literally just get it. Let's Vessel get to Energy. Kind of tempted instead, though, to go for the Mimikyu. Because it can KO the Zard. Um, and I don't want to have the Bombardier on the bench if it can be boss. It can't be boss KO just yet, can it? No. And if they boss it up, they I can heal it. So, oh, I swear to God, if they go for a Max Belt KO, I'm going to be fuming. But I'm risking it a little bit here. You never know. There's the Max Belt. Could go our way. You absolutely never know. Um, hmm. Kind of low key want to Iono here. But, oh, I really mean, I have to get like the Jet. And there's like not a high jet count in the deck. Just checking quickly. I could actually Earth and Vessel and go for a Greninja with, uh, uh, with Arvin. I might actually do that, you know, because I don't want to Iona them away when clearly their hand is kind of low-key struggling, you know? So let's just get these. Oh no, do I get... No, I do, yeah, I do get Vessel and a, an Evo. I can get rid of the Evo and then just draw some cards here. Hopefully with the Radiant Greninja, just a little bit of extra push. It'd be so cool to see a Jet. No Jet, that's fine. In that case, I'm going to attach to the Bombardier and then turn. I think they're going to likely Arvin. So I think the Bombardier shouldn't be bossed up. I think we're fine. They're just going to heat tackle again. Can't do anything. So you can see why I don't want to Iono because they're struggling. And I don't want them to, you know, get out of that. So I'm just going to keep going with this strap. I'm just going to go for another vessel and just keep digging. That's the plan here. Let's go for another vessel then. I think I'll get rid of the Natu this time. Oh, I should have rodded first, huh? Yeah. Okay. Well, mm, the rod now seems, seems to make sense. But let's in this case go for a... Now I'll go for the, the Radka Ninja, right? Because I can recover those energy of the rod. Yeah, okay. There's a boss. Again, just kind of chilling here, waiting for that jet. Could have attached the Sonax as well in the meantime, but again, this is why Jet's in the deck. There's an Ultra Ball. So here's the hope, and they just get this out and get the KO. I actually want them to KO Snorlax. That's what I really want to happen here. Oh, there's a Charmeleon, so it doesn't look like it yet. Again, trying my best to... I know this deck is now seeming a bit slow, but... I'm doing this intentionally. I think I would have gotten the active a long time ago, but I don't want to, as I said, I just don't want to, I've never seen a Zard brick so much. I don't want to give them the chance. That said, I think it's time. I think we have to do it. Um, I could retrieval here, get some energy and go for see even more acceleration, but I think what I want to do is rod uh, a energy back and I get an R2 sure thing. And I think I'm going to Iono. It's going to help them, but I mean, you know, I have to do something now. I need to get attacking, bro. Zard's coming out. Like, There's the jets. There we go. That's what we wanted. Get the jet, bring it up. And they hit some, oh, I didn't, I'm an idiot. I didn't touch the max belt. It's fine. I got oven. It's fine. It's fine. But this is what it is. We go for the KO. Bring it into our hands. Bring up Mimikyu. I think Mimikyu is probably better than the Lax here. Actually, the Lax is like, uh, mm, no, I'll bring, bring up the, no, because I'll go for the Charmeleon. Oh, I'll bring up Snorlax. I might actually need to get a gut. If they don't evolve that Charmeleon, it might actually be worth it just getting a Gus KO. That said, they could Iono me here too. So this deck's very funny with Iono because it's weak to it. Um, and struggles against it if you bring the card into your hand, right? Because you just lose all your cards, basically. But it's great if you Iono them to a low hand and with the Bombardier already in play and then attack because you've now put yourself in a position of them having a low card hand size and you actually having your Bombardier ready to go the next turn, giving you a massive advantage. It's really interesting to think about. Yeah, I think I'm going to boss up the Charmeleon though. They don't Iono here. Oh, they do. See, this is where we're slightly weak to it because now all of our good cards are at the bottom of the deck. But we do have Cypher Maniac. Just need an energy though. But they're at the bottom of the deck. So <laughs> I don't think it's going to happen anytime. Time soon. That's their more Eastern Conviction is nice. It's a shame their board isn't as developed though. Usually you'd expect a better board, but it's better than nothing. Oh, an energy, but it's not the one we want. That said, I could cipher, I could code break him right now and then just get rid of the jet. Okay, let's try this out. I'm gonna Ultra Ball. I'm gonna get the bird. Now, if I cipher for two energy here. Oh, see, this is where Vessel's good, by the way. Vessel's good with cipher, but if I just cipher for two energy, I also get two more clairvoyant sense. So it might actually be worth getting rid of my jet to just try and get this bomb off. It's risky, but I'm gonna try 
die. Never know. Could pay off. And they have. Whoa. Okay. Ah, bro, it's like I've got two Cypher Maniacs there. We got the Max Belt as well. Behave. Look at this. All right. So, Bombardier, Mimikyu, and just like that, instantly back up. 180. Hit that bad boy. Come back into me hands. And here's the hoping they don't Iono again. They probably will, though. It's a rare candy, so that's Pidgeot. There's a Puffin coming down as well. Oh, that makes my Morty good. Again, assuming we're not getting disrupted here. Oh, they do fail it. Okay. They go for a quick search. Honestly, it might be worth throwing, like, an Artisan or a Town Store in here just to shuffle your deck after Iono. Because it seems like you need to shuffle after you get hit by Iono just to increase the odds of you hitting the cards you need because all your good cards instantly go to the bottom of the deck after picking up a Bombardier. So maybe I do try and squeeze in some sort of stadium um, that could shuffle my deck. Hmm. Well, it's Turo. Oh, Wow, okay. I'm not against it. Not against it at all. Put the Charmander down. I don't think they're going to evolve here. I think they're just trying, they're trying to evolve next turn. So just go for the Heat Tackle for the KO. And I do still need a little bit here. I'd like to get my other Mimikyu out now. Could also, once KO in this, see if they fall for a trap and actually get Miss Magius. But we have Nest Ball, so that's good. Right, let's Nest Ball. And I, I think we go for the Mimikyu. I, I don't want to go for the Flutter. Um, even though you can get some cheeky plays where Charizards don't realize that the Flutter mains are the active and then turns off their Infernal Rain. That's funny. But in this case, no. We also do need uh, an extra energy or a form of retreat. You can see the importance of that board, by the way, kind of coming in. There's Iono, and this is where Iono actually gets good for us, because we can just give them a low hand size. Ah, see, there's the energy, but no retreat just yet. So I'm going to go for a conceal card. I need the jet to the boards. There we go. It's the board. Going to have to hit that Greninja. And we come in again, maximum belt. And this time, we go for an Iono. Let's do it. And this is where it gets good for us. Now, obviously, they have to now basically find an out to get Charizard out, which is what I want to force here. So that would be interesting. But let's go for another one bird here. One thirty this time of course because no max belt but donnie goes back into me hands and up goes the mimikyu except i will need an energy in order to actually retreat this mimikyu so that's something we got to bear in mind because i had to use the board on the greninja so i need to find my jets or actually, i need to find the jet my one more jet could also use flutter main as an attacker by the way so if they don't get a charizard out i can actually just come up with flutter main and just be like okay I'm going to swing you for 90 and hit 20 somewhere. It's a decent, like, pseudo attacker in the deck as well. There's a Nest Ball coming down. They get another Charmander. And they Arvin. So that will get him Charizard now. They will get a Charizard out. But they can't do anything. The Mimikyu's sitting here doing nothing for us. Not for us, sorry. Doing nothing for them. That doing it. You know what I mean? It might actually be worth just attaching to the Mimikyu and passing and just attacking with Mimikyu for a little bit. I mean, there's no rush for me to get Bombardier out. Hmm. There's Counter Catch. Uh, Counter Catch. That'll get, uh, get around the Mimikyu. Maybe they KO a Zartu. Oh, KOing Zartu would be quite troublesome. Have they rotted back their, their, their Charmeleon yet? Yes. Okay. So I'm assuming they're going to try and go for a boss KO on Zartu, set up Charmeleon so Mimikyu can't just block for the game, which means I need to get another Nartu down. A lot to think about here for sure. But again, knowing Zart, as we say, they always find a way. So I want to be surprised if they figure out what they should be doing because realistically he should be taking up a Nartu engine that's what you should be going for that said now i should just realize they don't have the counter catch so that's really good which means now i'm going to be a bit more cautious i'm going to nest ball and get myself another Nartu down i have prized is that two Zartu i've prized i've prized one so it'd be nice to get that eventually i think i go for a clairvoyant sense oh wait why did i clever oh for god's sake right that was a misplay, but that's fine. I was instead intending to... See, I would have had it as well. God's sake. I was intending to use concealed cards, but my brain stopped working. That's ah, fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's not fine. I'm fine. I'm not fine. It's okay. <laughs> Let me just arve in here quickly and see what's going on. Okay. Ultra Ball, that does nothing for us. There's bosses. That's so nice, but it's not really what we need right now. I'm just going to attach... And then turn. That's what I think I'm going to do. Yeah, that was a misplay. I actually had the Bombardier play, but I misclicked. <laughs> it's typical. Ain't a fall to win video about it, is it? I'm not even going to go do into deep with it, bro, because I think it's something we should just expect in every video now, where like, I legit misclick. And uh, again, some people are going to think I do it on purpose, but I really don't. Um, I think I was like over here and then looking at my hand whilst clicking um, and just didn't think. Just acted in an instant. Right, so what can they do here then? They can get themselves the Charizard out, maybe get a Charmeleon Use Infernal Rain to accelerate to Charmeleon to take out the Mimikyu. Um, they clearly think I don't have it, though. So that's the benefit of my misplay. Um, <laughs> it's only now hitting me how stupid that was. But it is so typical of me. So I can't... I'm not even surprised. I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, I do that. That's me. Like, there's no surprise in, in, in the slightest. Right, but Birdie, that's, that's an Iona. That's nice. Oh, they got Rotom, huh? Okay, are they gonna, they're going to Heat Tackle? Right. So, what do I do then? I want to try and find... I'm going to burn this because I actually don't need it anymore. I just need to find an energy, really. Because I 
could just go for Mimikyu and just keep attacking with Mimikyu for the for the time being. Bit risky doing this without benching the Bombardier, but screw it, let's go. They're struggling. Might as well keep the ball rolling. There we go. Only worry now, though, is we don't have much energy to work with. But we do have superior energy retrieval, don't we, still? So that can go a long way. All right, let's just go for the Ghost Eye. That's fine. And another Flutterman, not really that big of a deal. What's good is they, they can only Charizard right now if they um, are boss and stuff like that. But I can just keep bringing up Mimikyu. Um, that said, they have to, if they have four forms of Gust here, which they might, it depends if they're playing the Prime Catch or if they're instead playing the Max Bell. I think this is towards list. Looking at the Turo and the way things are shaped, the double rods. I'm, I'm guessing this is towards list, which usually has, if I'm correct, is it the towards one that has Prime Catch? I don't remember. Which I'm trying to think about their Gust options, right? Because they'll have Counter Catcher 2 boss, but will they have the Prime? That's what I'm thinking, because... That means effectively they just cannot do it unless they have power pad, which I know it usually does. Towards the list though plays the Yell's Cheer, so it doesn't actually, it won't be able to like power pad and gust in the same turn. So I'm just trying to think about gust options because if I can just keep this Mimikyu locked in, then we're fine. Uh, but they do get Charmeleon, so they might just KO me here instead. Which if they do that, if I get another Charmander down, it's just a wrap because then I get uh, my bird out and then just try and find the energy I need for that, which isn't unlike it. Okay, power pad, so it's not towards the list. Have they played any boss yet though? No! So they're power padding now. But in reality, it might be better to save that. Are they just instant charge? No way. Okay. Oh, this is a huge chance. It's a huge chance. All right, let's get rid of these two. Get the bird. And it's going to be Morty for two, but it's better than zero. Ooh, okay. Yeah, that's rough. We didn't want that, did we? Yeah, we did not want that. I'm going to have to go for a ghost eye. I could attack. I could you know, get rid of this with the concealed cards, but no, we actually wanted a psychic there. Okay. All right. I'm just going to go for a ghost eye here. Oh, well, maybe I do because I do have my, uh, maybe I should have just concealed cards this and hope for something, but the thing is if they get a Charizard out now, it's, they can't attack the Mimikyu, so they have to have a Gust play. God, I am misplaying this deck to death, aren't I? <laughs> I really am. I'm really trying to think about what I should be doing here, but I just don't know. Well, now if they Gust up my Zato, I can't even go for Bombardier, right? But it's just funny. It's so much more difficult simply because I accidentally accelerated to Nartu. God, I wish they could give an undo button, right? Where you click an ability and it activates for you to accelerate the energy. And in that moment, you could just go, oh, undo. Where I go, oh, you know, that's that's that. But I understand once you announce the action, technically speaking, it's it's done. It's a wrap. Yeah, they are doing what I thought they were going to do, um, which isn't a surprise, really. They're just going to go straight for the Charizard and just try and gust their way through. I mean, they've got to take four prizes here, so they've got to gust four times. So they can keep doing this. But if they don't have that, then eventually we just win. And if I could have a set up an instant Bombardier, then that could still be pretty good. But I can't do it right now because, all oh, because I... Bloody accelerated his Doddy. It, it just adds up mathematically. They do Nest Ball for a Bidoof, though. Again, still no answer to the Mimikyu. And bear in mind, they evolved from the Charmeleon, which they probably only have the one copy of, meaning I could just keep using Mimikyu until I have something more worthwhile. So I'm just going to go for another Ghost Eye here and just, just say, hey, I don't think you've got it like that. I don't think in three turns you're going to gust, gust, gust for game. There's a bit barrel, though, and a quick search. Bear in mind now, they can't counter catch us. So they have to have two more boss and a prime or three more boss. They played their power pad earlier, so. They haven't got that resource available to recover, boss. I'm just saying they ain't got it. There's an Ultra Ball. Get rid of Pidgeot and Rotom. Oh, the Radzard, for crying out loud. Every time I play Charizard, I forget about Radiant Zard. It just makes the deck 10 times better by just existing. Oh, God, for God's sake. As soon as I kill the Radzard, they just kill my Mimikyu. So, yeah, now we have a problem. For God's sake, man. Why do I do this to myself? I'm going to upload it because I'm actually tight for time. There's going to be um, a, a thingy -ma bob. Yeah, that's good English. Sean, a thingy -ma bob. There's going to be a thingy -ma bob. Do I just get rid of these two and just... See what I can do here. Played my rod earlier. See, yeah, it's not looking good. It ain't looking good, Brev. Yeah, we just go sty. There's a maintenance update coming up, so I, I literally I won't have a video done today if I don't get this this all this all these gameplays in. So the game you're gonna see, the games you're gonna see today are like legit. Like there's just nothing happening there. They go for an airy, and of course there's nothing there, so they fail it, and they just instant charge. So I think now they're kind of just sitting there going, "All right, I've got nothing," which is fair. What if they have nothing? What if I can go for a late game? Um, can I, do you reckon I'll be able to stick up that big barrel? Nah, they'll retreat that, right? They have at least one switch. They'll have one, if not two energy left. Two rods gone. Go for another ghost eye. The thing is, if I stick up big barrel, then what? I, yeah, I, I lose the deck out as well. So it's like, what's what's the strat here? Unless I genuinely stick up big barrel, hope it sticks and just manually attach and then go for a shadowy wind. That'd be kind of funny. Maybe they, no, they don't, you don't, you don't bench the Zard now. But if they do, that'd be a huge misplay. So I'll just bring up the Zard. Yeah, I put myself in a terrible situation. There's another instant charge. 
charge. Meaning they will, they will definitely have it here. So are we saying that my best bet here is to, well, if I, oh yeah, I would lose it in that time, actually. All right, let's just see. We'll attach to the Natu. Go for a ghost die. There's a Charizard EX gone, but we know Radzard's coming. I'm just trying to see what's in the prizes. That's what I'm curious about. Ah, it's the bird. Yeah, no acceleration for that, unfortunately. Here's where I wish I had a Pidgeot EX, because I would have now gone for deck out here. Imagine, and bro, imagine if I could bring my Snorlax back and just go late game stall play. You know what I'm saying? Maybe I should throw, I think I'm going to throw a Pidgeot EX in here just so I can do that. Like an option where resources are thin, we're both kind of struggling, and then I can just bench a Snorlax, throw it up, boss up the barrel, and then just keep Pidgeotting every turn and just win through that route. Yeah, it does open up the stall play. You might as well just have that available if you have the Snorlax in your deck. Also, it opens up Forest Seal Stone. Okay, I can see some improvement. Iono? Oh, I didn't see that coming. Oh, yeah, I guess it means I can't boss. Yeah, that's true. Also, my last prize card, by the way, is a Zartu, which is so painful because <laughs> it could have at least done something um, to get me somewhere. But oh well, is what it is. There goes the Mimikyu. I now need to believe I can buy a turn here to just try and get a boss stick on the barrel. But after that, then what? I mean, yeah. I think we just pass. Let's see if they had the switch. Because all they got to do now is switch retreat. If they have the switch, then it's GG. But I think this was like super winnable. And then I just I just paid myself, which I usually do. Oh, they pass again. They can attack next turn. Do we get a boss? No. That, my friend, is going to be the final piece of the puzzle, unfortunately. Nothing else left to get us there. They can attack again. It is GG. Okay, it's not an ideal start. I'll be honest. <laughs> they're going to think they're bailing against stall, which is quite funny. So uh, let's see if they... Try and be a bit. I'm playing stall. I can't be careful. Um, no, I'm just gonna start nest balling right out of the bat there. I need to actually maybe start using this one. The uh, nest ball from Sun and Moon. Wonderful stuff. They get a power kit down though. But we may just auto lose here. The hand is abysmal, unfortunately. Not even a single card that I can actually just play with. Pro ah, ah, ah. Oh, don't you love it when an Arbor just pops up and saves your day? Beautiful stuff. All right, let's go for it. We're gonna TM Evo with the lax and i think i just go for the double natu yeah i'll go for the double natu that's fine throw the tm evo here and just straight away go for it i mean look the solax you might I, I i this is an addition that i didn't have the last time i played this deck before the rotation and the reason why it's actually included is because it can allow you to two shot a lot better if your opponent can't retreat the pokemon you just hit uh, and you can see an example here where i have the um, what is it a garchomp ex stuck in the active i've hit it already it's just chilling there can't do anything uh, it managed to pull off a sonic dive but then i come in i take the ko and that was actually my last prize card um i needed to take so and i think in that situation i had to have that stay in the active i think if they retreated i didn't have enough to get through so that would that was snorlax literally winning me the game anyway uh whilst i showed you that i'll just let you know what they've just played here they got rid of two water energy with an ultra ball to get gold dengo and we're now back up to speed after attaching a metal energy there let's see if they just pop off right away here with the make it rain i hope not because I need a bit of time here to do something because uh, his hand is still, even with that Arvin, still not fantastic. Maybe I should have got the bird. Oh, to be fair, I could have got the bird and instead gone for... Yeah, I could have got the bird. Could I have got the bird? Um, that wouldn't make a difference. They would have killed the bird anyway. I was thinking I'd get the bird and then just go for its first attack. I forgot what it's called, but it gets free bench Pokemon out for you. Um, but I don't think that was... I think this... I think I did make the best play, all things considered. But the Earth Investor here, they probably are going to get the KO. Might have to accelerate to a Zartu just to try and get out of it. But you don't want to do that. We want to be accelerating to the bird, man. Either way, there is the KO. Shame Tulip can only recover Psychic Pokemon. It cannot recover the Lax for us. It would have been nice to get that back. But a Mimikyu. Mimikyu would be absolutely flawless here. It's not. What I might do then, and this is very cheeky, is I might go for a Vessel. Get rid of the Jet. Get to energy here. I might accelerate to the Pidgeot, you know. Not to attack with it, but just to have uh, a way to get energy back in the deck and not kind of waste energy on a Zartu, you know. Just to draw some cards. There's the bird, but now it's the wrong time for it. I mean, what can I do here? There is always that Greninja threat, so I can't just throw down a Mimikyu now with Bombardier. Uh, I think I have to go for another Clairvoyant Sense onto the Pidgeot to see if I can get something to retreat to. Oh, hello! Cheeky Forest Seal Stone, hello! This is a new inclusion for the deck, by the way, and it's actually doing its thing. So we're going to Star Alchemy, and I'm just going to say, hey, get your Greninja out, or nothing else. Actually, I should Star Alchemy for a Poffin, right, and get... No, I get Mimikyu and Manaphy, right? Yeah, that's what I... Oh, I haven't made Arvin yet, actually, so maybe I maybe I, I get an Arvin? Maybe Arvin makes more sense. I could Arvin and get myself a Max Belt. Could also Iono, but that doesn't seem correct. I set up energy to accelerate with... Yeah, let's get the Arvin, and that will do the job... 
lot of you see and thinking, Sean, don't you dare just get him naked. You, got, you can play support, we can. It's all right. I'm, I, 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 I realized before it was too late. Counter catch is also something we could do, but that's not really on the cards, is it? So, funnily enough, the Vitality Ban is actually better for us here than the Max Belt. Because we are 2 at Kevin this anyway with the 130, and we are 2 at Kevin that 140, which we need the Vitality for. Could also go for another TM Evo. Um... But I'm not evolving into anything. So I think I'm just going to get the Vitality Band here. We'll play the Poffin, get a Mimikyu, get a Manaphy. And this is where Rescue Ball, a new card coming in, actually super helps us here. Because we can just attach to that and retreat. No problems whatsoever. Throw that Pidgeot back into the deck. And now I'm tempted to attach to Mimikyu. Oh, no. No, I'm going to need that for draw, I think. I think it depends really what I want to do. Then again, I might just attach to Mimikyu. I could go for a, a bit of a lousy tulip and get one energy afterwards and do some draw. But you know what? Fine, let's do it. Let's do it. That might be a misplay, but I think... My opponent is just going to struggle here eventually, right? And if the Mimikyu goes down, then we just tulip it back with that energy anyway. So I think that's something we can do. It's a good thing Goldengo is a bit of a one-trick pony. We just need to kind of navigate that Greninja a little bit. But if we do successfully, then we can do well. This is why I like playing Zard in Goldengo a lot of the time. Because if you get tricky matchups like this, you at least have something to go with. But... I understand that Greninja is just better. They do get the cancelling Cologne, though, which will get him a KO, but we have the Tulip, so I'm actually not that bothered. Should also be likely to get a KO here. It depends if we get the energy for it. Oh, I know it does seem nice, but I think the Tulip is definitely the play. Come on, Lightning can't strike twice. What have I got? Do I, do I try and go for the bomb? I actually have a lower energy count in this deck than I originally had before, so the Ultimate drawing into energy are quite slim, but can get Vessel. Uh, just risk it for a biscuit. Let's go. Let's clairvoyant sense. Never punished, right? Never punished. There it is. Is. See, we never get punished. I'm going to vessel away the vacuum. That's not going to come to bite me at some day, isn't it? You know, nah, this. The gold thing usually plays a max belt or a prime. Uh, max belt's not going to matter unless I keep the Bombardier in play, but there's no way I'm ever doing that. Unless, oh, there may be a scenario. Okay, fine. I'm trying to thin out to get better draw off the Clairvoyant Sense, but I've kind of got what I need in my hand anyway. See, now now I can now I can vessel a bit more comfortably there. Okay, that's fine. You just never know that that vacuum could actually matter. Right, let's throw Vitality on. Throw a Mimikyu down. Pretty sure they're not going to be playing the, what's the Iron Deli, Deli Bird? Yeah, that one. <laughs> but why do they have names? It makes no sense when I give them new names. So if they have the Gust, they have the Gust, but I don't think they're going to be able to have an Escape Probe effect is what I'm leaning to. So we just go for the 140 here. Shadowy wins. Go back. Throw up a Mimikyu. And now we have, again, another board state that's a bit difficult for them. Maybe I could have thrown the second Mimikyu down. Um, that's Iron Bundle, isn't it? Yeah. Maybe I could have thrown the other Mimikyu down because I could accelerate to that and just keep attacking with Mimikyu in the meantime. If I like, if I got Iono, then I could, you know, uh, accelerate and attack with Mimikyu. So maybe I should have thrown that. Um, Goldengo's not one. To, I know it plays a couple Iono usually, but it's not really often, is it? Maybe I do that. There's a, there's a vessel. They get rid of a Manaphy themselves. Getting two energy there. I think their best bet is to try and negate my damage, right? Is to try and play around what I'm doing. Oh, no, they're just going to straight boss. Well, thankfully, it does mean I can attack with Mimikyu still. <laughs> um, but I need to get some uh, some more Zartus down now then, huh? Because the, the right strategy is to just target my um, my Zartus, really. That is the best move. Right, we get a rod. That's that's a really good time. We'll recover a Zatu line. Oh, we can get the lax back. Why not? Might need that at some point. I'm gonna throw another Mimikyu down. Why do I think that's a bad idea? All right, let, let me let me let me attach to the Mimikyu here with the clairvoyant. I think the reason I think it's a bad idea is because I want to have a lot of Natus down, but I also kind of want room for a Bombardier. So I want two Natus down. Hmm, it's interesting. I I, I I am certain I'm attacking with Mimikyu. I also think Iono should still wait. I think I Arvin for Poffin, don't I? And then I can Iono after. Afterwards. Have I got a Poffin left? I only played two. Oh, no, I don't. I do have Nest Ball, but that's just the one or two. But then I could Iono and fail it. Um... I'm, I'm gonna Iona. I'm gonna Iona. Maybe that's a bad idea. Maybe that's a bad... Nope, it was a great one. Okie dokie. Well, kind of. Not really. But here we are. Let's go for a Nest Ball here. Just get the other Natu down. No draw, unfortunately. That's why I kind of it was a bit shaky about it. But I do get my Natus down. And now we, again, kind of in a decent position here. Except if they get the Greninja out now. Now getting Greninja would be quite tough on us. Especially if they Turo. Turo now would be so devastating. Well, there's a coin bonus. And they Ultra Ball. That would be able to get the Greninja. So they have energy which they do. They can pull off a Greninja KO, but they're not going to do it. That's an interesting decision. Unless they already have Greninja, or if they just want to find their Turo. Um, 
I'm curious here. Like, you definitely go for Greninja. Yeah, it's kind of, like, resource heavy. But you remove my Mimikyu. Finally, don't get the double. But you KO my Mimikyu. I'm not going to KO you. And I have nothing to follow up with. Well, they don't know my hand. So maybe maybe that's what they're thinking. But I think you still go for Greninja, no? Either way, there's a gimme goal. And a retrieval. Covering two energy there. I think that was two metal. Oh, they, they attach. I think they're going to go for the retreat. Yeah, this was the this was the turn, mate. This was the turn that it should be happening. I am going to counter catch up. That's fine. I wonder if they're going to V-Star power. They V-Star power now. It's a huge misplay. Okay, cool. They don't do that. Okay. So, again, nothing too fantastic here. I am going to just counter catch her. Uh, I'm tempted to Ultra Ball for another Zartu, but I just don't see any reason to get that unless I might need to Ultra Ball for something else. So, we'll just go for the Ghost Eye. Take it out here. And just hope we get something off the prizes, because I can't lie. That Iono is now actually looking like a bad thing. Zartu, Arvin. That's nice. What's my Vessel count to? I have one more Vessel. So I can still get some energy out and start accelerating and hopefully start hitting some nice hits with my, uh, with my boom. Yeah, man, I want the bird to come out. It's a bird deck, not a mimic you deck. Anyway, that's a coin bonus. What's funky is Fluttermane is actually kind of cool here because you can shut off coin bonus in the active, which does severely reduce their draw. But obviously, mimic you's better because they can't hit you, which is just so much better. So I think you still go for the mimic you. Fluttermane is more here for like the comfies, you know, the lost zone matchups, basically. It's just like, okay, I'm just going to shut off your flower selecting. Um, and then that's the way I can beat you. So that's why the Fluttermane's here. And also, it is a pseudo attacker, just like mimic you hits the 90. It can do some stuff. So it's just, yeah. Yeah, it's just there for, mainly for the comfy though. That's why it's not here. So, uh, in play. Ultra Ball, are they going to finally recognize the Greninja out? They might have, they've recognized it too late though, if that's the case. That said, they do need to actually get a retreat. So there is the Greninja. Yeah, I think maybe they, they knew about the Greninja play, but just didn't want to let go of the fact that they had to commit so much to get rid of one Mimikyu and nothing else. That said, they could have the Prime. They could have another Cologne. I've seen Goldengo play two Colognes before. So we're not out the woods just yet. Not yet. Oh, they do go for the Prime. They bring up a Zartu. Wow, they, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, all right. This is interesting. Why are they going to accelerate to just two? Bro. Oh, I guess it makes sense because so long as you get two bosses, you win. My Mimikyu just isn't hitting hard enough to make up for that. I can still get what I need here, I think. Granted, with a bit of a handicap. Uh, oh, oof, Jesus Christ, that Iono is looking juicy, though. I can't lie. I'm going to Ultra Ball these two away. I really want to go for a, a Bombardier, um, but I think now it's not actually possible. I would have to Arvin. Yeah, Arvin would, wouldn't get me. I need I need two things. I need a Nest Ball and some energy, but I only can get one with the Arvin. So I think I just Iono them to two, and, you know, if all else fails, I just go for the Mimikyu Ghost Eye and just see where I go from there. All right, Nest Ball. Yes, yeah, pretty pretty poor unfortunately so we're just gonna ghost die and just hope that they we, we buy some turns basically that's what we need we need to just remove their gust out how many have they played so far one boss one prime they're not ahead that yeah so they can't go for counter at best you might see two more bosses which is what they need but usually i would expect two boss one counter one prime that would be a more a more a line i would expect more in this kind of deck what's they get the boss bro what the hell and they actually take out the manaphy Interestingly enough, that's a bit of a misplay. Am I wrong? I don't even know. Uh, so I, this is bad. <laughs> just, just, just give them a boss again. Sure thing. That's not good news. Um, there's that lost vacuum I was, I was debating earlier. I, I, I'll throw the other Nasu down. I think I go for double Mimikyu here. I think I'm just gonna have to try and stick with the Mimikyu block effectively. But the question is, is, is if they have that one more gust, then we are screwed. Um, I think I actually bring up Greninja. No, I don't need to just yet. I'm gonna go for a Ghost Eye. Right. So we, we've, we've lost the bomb earlier. We've committed to this until we find it off top deck luck. There's an Arida. It, uh, they can't counter catch. Are they Cologne? Oh, you've got it. They've got the double. Get out of here. I don't want to see two Cologne. Really? I handle them into a boss and then they get two Cologne. Get out of here, man. Lads, I, I, I've I, I've been in the trenches for this video. I cannot lie. I've done two games ages ago. Done it, right? And they I, they were good games, but I just misplayed so badly in both of them for like, at like one specific point where it lost me in the game where I could have won. And I was like, it was just too painful. Too painful. And and now I've recorded, what is it, five games? And every single time, it's just been really unlucky hands. Like hands of just, I can't do anything. I can't draw, read prizings. And it feels like God's up there just giving me the biggest mid middle finger. But I'm not going to talk about it any further because we are here. We are now. And on top of that, I talk about it all the time. It's like the world doesn't want me to play Pokemon. It's so... All right. Puffin, let's go. Gonna get to Natu's down here. And we are going to Earthen Vessel away and Boss's Orders. Okay. All right. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, we'll do that. And we'll go for Casteel Card. Some extra draw. Why not? That's there. Just double up. Double me up, Scotty. That's fine. And we go for a Evolution for two Zartu. Now... 
we are a bit vulnerable here. They can just straight away. Maybe I should have Ultra Ball, actually. Uh, that's, that's weird. That's a weird bug. Hey, look at that. Just off topic. Uh, look at that. Look at that. The energy circle shadows. Oh, that's strange. Um, yeah, I, I, they are likely to boss up a Zartu here, and that would kind of be a problem. So, with this deck, right, it's really interesting and really fun, but... It feels like every player is just God. It's like I'm playing Tord in every, every every video. It's like everyone just knows exactly what to do. Um, it's almost like I'm in Arceus League. I, I think I should just, in the future, derank myself. I can't lie. I would be so anti that. But the mere fact that everyone is just super tryharding the ladder, which is not a bad thing. That's what we want from a rank ladder. It's kind of putting me in a situation where everyone is really trying, you know? Um, and so I can't slip through these little misplays that the opponent would make um, to take advantage. They're just so, so spot on a lot of the time when you're playing something a little bit more volatile. So the, 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 the I've I said this in another video, but I've never felt such a gap. And I think the ranked ladder is contributing to that between the top tier here in the rogue where it's like you play anything that has some sort of disadvantage they're going to exploit it to the max and really come at you where it just feels like you're losing i'm on a lost streak you can obviously see that from my videos it just feels like another level of t of, of of gaming where it's like nah i'm not here to hit i don't want to be sweating bro i want to be having fun you know what i'm saying anyway what can i do here i think i can technically come out with the bird i just need a couple things to go my way um <laughs> yeah that's a wishful thinking shawnee boy but we'll go for a vessel what's our energy count we have three in the deck that's fine i want to get the board for the retreat that also seems like a good idea i could also get no i think we board for pivot we need pivot i just need to then draw into an energy which means it maybe is best for me here to to go for a rod as well. Yeah, I'm gonna rod to recover energy. Um, and maybe that could help a little bit here. So we go for the nest ball, get a bombardier. We also need to get a Pokemon to draw into, funnily enough. But we'll see if that comes. It really depends what we get off of this Zartu. Let's go for a clairvoyant sense here. And we'll attach once. There's the jet. That's what we wanted. And we get the Ultra Ball on top to add to the further discard fodder. This is nice, but I would like maybe a little bit more juice, you know? Let's see here. I can actually get rid of the boards now, and I can get rid of the Arvin, and that would get me the Mimikyu that I'm going to need here. They are just going to... The thing is, if I Mimikyu, they're just going to Charmeleon, but they won't actually KO the Mimikyu, so that's the point. That's fine. Um, oh, they, no, they can't Defiance ban, so I think we get Mimikyu, and I think we just throw the Mimikyu up. Yeah, I also kind of want to Ultra Ball for something else. Yeah, for a Nartu. I kind of want Ultra Ball for a Nartu because the way around this is obviously just KO the Zartu and then I cannot accelerate to it. So I think I actually have to get rid of these two and get another Nartu down. So if they do identify, which they... I told you, people are good now. I don't, I don't, obviously. They're going to identify the fact that the way for me to attack next turn is by accelerating with double Nartu. So I need two Zartu. Uh, sorry, double Zartu. I need two of them. So you Gust KO Zartu. And Charizard is the king of Gust, as you can see literally literally happening here. So with that, I now need to, you know, get uh, an out, which I know the other one was the out, but I, I honestly, I think I played the hand the best I possibly could here. And this is my kind of example of what I'm saying, where I, I think I played that flawlessly. I don't think I could have played that any better. And I'm already on the back foot purely because of how good Charizard is, right? Just by the nature of the deck. My opponent doesn't even, have, doesn't even have to think. They're like, oh, just KO's off. That's kind of the thing, right? Where it's like, you, you want to try to be a bit funky and a bit different, but the, the world just doesn't want it. I can, however, go for a Mimikyu. I know that. So it's not the end of the world, but again, they're just going to keep bossing until they can deal with the Mimikyu. That is a good good top deck though and i kind of want to go for the bird but i think oh do you know what screw it do you know if i lose i don't care i really care but i don't care i'm just doing it man i'm having fun nice nestful okay get me a how about i go ninja do i have two energy in hand no Greenwich would be nice could also go for the block lax you know i could just i could just throw up block lax and just say you know get your switch card you know get that out take me out that might not be a bad shout Actually, I'm not against getting block clacks out. And just saying you can't retreat your Charizard now. And that gives me a chance to at least come in for a swing. Oh, but if I don't hit my bird now, they're just going to boss KO it because they are boring. And they're good at the game. <laughs> All right, let's get the block clacks. I'll throw the max belt down. Ah, do I attach? It's, it really depends on what I get off Iono. I mean, if I get an out to a Zartu and an energy and then a rescue board, it's three cards needed. But... I think I just Iono, actually, because I could just attach a treat. Okay, I think Iono's correct there instead of committing to the Snorlax. Let's see. You never know. There's another Zartu. Okay, 
There's also, interestingly enough, I think I'm gonna get rid of you. There's also Forest Steel Stone, which means I could get a Pidgeot. That could go a long, long way for me here. Let's 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 evolve here and see. Yeah. Okay. We didn't get it, which is unfortunate, which means I have to just attach and retreat to the lax here. And then what I do is if they KO my Zartu again, I simply go for a tulip and just recover my, my, my Zartu line. Rod some energy back, maybe. All right, let's see. Um, They could also have, if they play Max Belt, it's just a wrap because they just take out my bird. Oh, no, they just get, they get a vacuum, of course. I forgot they got vacuum. So the belt is now gone. Oh, that is just bad. That is very bad. Oh, man. Why does Charizard just have everything? I don't understand. I, I, I don't think I'm playing bad. I just, I just, I just, again, this is the evidence of the skill gap. Not skill gap. Is it the deck gap? I don't know how to describe it. Charizard's just too good where it feels like if you're not countering it, um, or if you're not playing something else that is like tier one, you just, you just never have a good chance. A bit demoralizing. I think what I might do, I might just like, just scoop Charizard. I can't lie. If I just come up against Charizard, I might just be like, no, I'm not playing it. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's just, it's, it's not my fault that I can't, it, like, it, the deck always has an answer to something. Uh, granted, it can brick every now and then, and I do beat Zard. It's not actually that big of a deal, but, you know, it's just a bit. Uh, God's sake, here we go again. I can't even KO the thing here because the max belt's gone. Oh, man. Yeah, it's just it's just a bit. It's a bit. It's just very demoralizing, man. Let me get a chance. Let me get a chance. All right. Um, I think I have to tulip here and just recover these guys. Just trying to get some Mimikyu action going, huh? I'm going to have to attack with Mimikyu anyway, won't I? So, yeah, let's accelerate to it. And um, with that max belt gone, everything kind of falls apart, which just sucks. But we we, we move four hits. We'll go into the active and we'll throw up a Mimikyu. Just now slightly concerned for that Radiant Charizard when that comes up. Ah, oh, it's another boss. This is just... You just can't beat Zard. <laughs> You just can't. You can't do it. You can't. You can't. It's, it's, I, I give up on trying to just play fun decks, bro. I can't. <laughs> you guys don't know how long I've been recording to try and get some games and it's just not working because they just have an answer every time because the, they're just, the decks are too good. <laughs> oh, it's just not fun anymore. All right. There's a Mimikyu. Throw that up. Finally get a Mimikyu KO. But what's that going to do when Zard's got, they've got the Charmeleon where a Mimikyu can't even hit it. They can go for 50, 50, KO, fine. And then they've also got the Radzard, and they have multiple rods to reuse the Radzard. And it's like, why? <laughs> just, what, what? I want Mew back. I want Mew EX back. Ah, uh, anyway, I'm just waffling. Right, let's 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 throw the Bombardier down and let's go for a Clairvoyant Sense. There we go. Clairvoyant Sense onto the birds. Hey, let me get a little cheeky Iono. You never know. That could be helpful. Yeah, never know. You never know. Let's actually throw a Flutter main down as well, because I can actually Oko a, uh, a Charmeleon. So that actually could come in a little bit clutch. So what are we doing here then? Are we rotting? I don't think we're rotting. I think we are chilling. Just going for an Iono. Just waiting for that third boss to come out and ruin my day. Right. That's not terrible. That's not terrible at all. Uh, the, stone, the, stone, the stone's not online. The vacuum's not doing anything. All right. Let's shadow we win here. Just take the KO. There we go. We didn't get a boss ourselves, unfortunately. So I can't just bring up that Charmeleon with the, the Flutter. Actually, Flutter main can turn off the Zard, right? Oh, what do you have? What if I just like charge up a Flutter main? Well, eventually they'll get a Charizard EX out, right? But if the Rad Charts, I think they've just taken too many prize cards. That's the thing, right? I think they're just like too far ahead where I can't be techie with it. Like now Zard's out. So they clearly are just going to evolve Zard boss, right? Yeah, I think that's what they're going to do, unfortunately. Um, wait, uh, Zard doesn't play three. I uh, usually plays two or is it, does it play three? Well, they quick search. Let's see if it is the third. Oh, it's the prime. Forgot about the prime capture. There you go. Don't worry, guys. This deck's great. Uh, they can't just boss and KO everything and just avoid my whole strategy. I'm going to play <laughs> leaves in every deck now. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just, just throw two grass and leave one up. <laughs> um, okay. Could be a bit techy with the, the lax stall. What if I could go for a lax play? Uh, I need to draw, but I could recover the Snorlax and just gust up the Rotom and just keep passing, hoping they haven't got a switch out. The Prime's gone. What if they don't have a switch? I could try and lax stall. Um, I need I need, I need the lax. I should have wrote it earlier for it then, huh? Yeah. Okay. I think we're going for a new strategy here. I think we're giving up. We're giving up here. We're going for the lax play. Um, that means we need to Greninja here for even more draw. Ah, but if I Greninja, then I can't lax. Right. Because I need to bench a Pidgeot so I don't deck out myself. Okay. All right. Let's just accelerate here to the Flutter main. There's an Iono. Um, I don't even think I get the lax strat off. I don't even think I can do that right now. I am going to counter catch, but as it stands, I can't do it, right? Because I, I own a, the, uh, I need to get, an, I don't know what's in my deck. I, I should have checked the Ultra Ball. Um, I, yeah, I, this is my last rod. So odds are I'm not getting anything of great value off of this, but I'm just going to do it. Yeah, I think I, if I, God, wow. 
That is just an insult, isn't it? All right, well, let's just safeguard. And they have to the retreat. They have it. It's GG, basically. Well, they'll have to, they'll have to, they'll have to retreat first, right? I don't know. Let, let's see what they've got. I can't believe I owned into those cards. <laughs> I have one more rod left in deck. I know that. I have one more rod. So it's there. It's just, yeah, I just didn't play it earlier on to get the lax back. I didn't think about the potential lax play. There's Team Yell's Cheer. Oh, this is Tor's list. It's Team Yell's Cheer so they can recover some bosses here. Which means next turn they can just boss for game. Which means I have to do something this turn. Um, but it really does really... Maybe I should have put the Flutter main? Yeah, that's just GG, isn't it? That is just GG. I mean, it does depend. They have the energy. But look, there's the rods. The rod nest ball plus boss is what we want. But we just ionoed into trash. So I actually can't do anything about that. Right, let's go for another ghost die. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? It's just, yeah, it's just a mixture of... Playing against a deck that just beats you, just not drawing very well. It's just, yeah. There's Arvin. Maybe I should just give up on the deck. There's a Rods. So that will get in the retreat, right? Yeah, that's a GG. All right, so that's the finalized list for you. Uh, play if you dare. <laughs> now, nah, jump on casual and have some fun with it, man. Um, Yeah, I think I could have upped the energy count. I think the energy count was a bit low, but other than that, yeah, I'm not going to say too much. This was more, as I said, just a, an insight into kind of my recording experience. And honestly, I've kind of had to twist this video this way because I wouldn't have a video. It's, it's 10, it's quarter past 10 at night. I've, I've tried so hard throughout the day to get this done and it's just not happening. So this is the best I managed to gather. So yeah, uh, treat it in a documentary sense, I guess you could say, rather than a, oh, this deck's great, you know? <laughs> um, yeah, I hope it was a bit insightful, but we'll leave it there. And I think the game should get a bit more interesting as we go forward into the future, as we actually play decks that isn't just Charizard bots. Right, let's go. And a huge thank you to the channel members for supporting the channel. If you want to become a member yourself, click the join button down below to see all the perks and all the tiers where you can get exclusive content and the like. But we'll leave it there. Thank you very much for the support, guys. See you later.